Welcome guys, welcome back to Factorio. As you notice, I I cannot pronounce that word, I'm not going to try. I extended Factorio to Wednesday just because I would change our schedule over to Wednesday just because um bit busy on Tuesdays, so Wednesdays will be Factorio now. Sorry for the noise in the background. Hi right, guys, so yes, Wednesdays would be Factorio. Let's see, what's the plan for? It's been so long that I haven't played this C5. Let me see, what's the plan for this Factorio? We already have the... Do we have the green? Yes, we already have the green... ...meter. I guess we are doing some research... ...in the background. Now this is just going to take a good bit of time. So by the way we're doing that we can check on the map. We did in fact yes we did that already. Let's check and see what other research we can do besides that one. You can get this working. Right, we can see if we can get the um, what do you call that thing the stone which is like really far off the map right now to be a bit close a bit close just watch the map then all right that's not stone all right there are some enemies right there the nearest stone i can see is this one right here and then this so to get trains do we even have trains unlocked we don't Let's research this. Change our research the engines. Let's research engines and then we can get trains. It'd be hard to create the train tracks because they we need the stone to actually create train tracks and that would be hard because it's hard to even get stone. Alright, so by the way, we're waiting on that. Let's just. Alright, guys, so that took years to actually research that um, engines, and then I still have to research the two more stuff to get railways in order to get stone. And as you can see, we are low on red and green science. Red in particular. See if I can think of a way to actually get more red. That would not work. That's good work.
I can simply take that off with the line, but that makes no sense at the moment. And we put this one here to there. Then we can have this long arm. Take from that line. Right, it looks very confusing right now, but yeah, it's very confusing. My sandbox build <laughs> even better than this. Looks way better than this. Alright, so we got two sets creating the sentence pack one got to get trains what else we can do by the way we're waiting on trains So let's see. We have something researching at the moment. When we are done with that research, we can then research the railways. It should be fast. It's just 75 of the red and green science. So that should go fast. Then we can start researching some armor. Does it cost copper and steel? So this is like one of the major research, <coughs> and it's kind of taking its time because we used up most of the research points. We science back for the last research. Might as well put some more bricks to work on. No, we don't really need it. Might as well. Eventually, we would need a brick slang, stone brick line also. But we don't at the moment. I think railways actually consist of what does railways actually consist of? Steel, iron, stick, steel and stone. We can automate the production of that, but I would think I'll do that by hand. We have to produce engines which is pipes. Engines is pipes, that's pipes, steel and something else for the engines.
pipe steel and gears I think it is uh, we'll see how that really goes here we go again waiting for the research alright guys so while doing a bit of exploration I did some check into the inventory yes the research is still being dealt with at the moment I did some check into the inventory and noticed that we have some stuff that we can actually do at the moment we can automate the production of torrents and also ammunition for the ammunition we will need copper plates and iron plates is going to be interesting. We send that down. Where is that thing that creates the... Wait, I have that being created. Interesting. I forgot I automated the production of the blue the fast inserters. Production of ammo. Just need one of this. Got an iron. Production of ammunition can come from got another one of those And all we have to do is drop some power for those. So we have simple automated the production of iron, of um, ammunition. We also can automate the production of what's that next one? The if we do that. How much ingredients does that take? One, two, three. This can only create with two, so I need one of these. Too much in here. You can run that under. I can move it right after if it doesn't work out. Wrong button. Yep, it's not working. Oh, 
I'm gonna find some other way to get there. You know this better up here. Run it just up here. Take the iron from here. What does that take again? Iron plates, cup and gears. So once we have the split up, run it to about there. Okay, that's too far. That's way too far. Let's drop this down first. So if we have this there, we get the iron and gears from there. The copper from this side and output here. That's it. Yeah. We would need one splitter. Creating the torrents. Alright, so we have our first defense torrent. We have ammo being created on this side. Let's see how much ammo we have in that. Already have a slight demand for iron ore but it's we should take care of that Not a coincidence that we need iron plates right now. Six should be enough. Maybe. Maybe not. You never know. Might just be enough. We are still not even finished with that research yet. one it's like sack six oh wow. 
These guys on the side are slightly running out of ore there. Interesting. Alright, so... In regards to the iron plates, it's... Low at the moment. That should be done anytime soon. Just a few more to go. At least we can say we are still having some iron coming down to this district down here. How much iron does it take to actually create 4 iron plates per ammunition? Wow, that's a lot. Now what we can do is, only have one. Just continue extending. We finally got that research. <laughs> then you extend on this line. The good thing about the way I built this line here is it can always extend. The iron production line can always extend. Yeah. So yes, that line can always extend. But that's it for the episode guys thank you for tuning in to this episode of factorio all the links to my twitch channel and twitter page and stuff would be in the description below see you guys next week for the next episode of factorio